Describe the function of each of the following extra embryonic membranes. First, yolk sac. Well, it contains yolk. And what does the yolk do? Provides nutrition for the developing embryo. Next, we have the amnion. This is a sac that surrounds the embryo. And recall that it contains amniotic fluid. And the amniotic fluid cushions and protects the embryo or fetus. Allantois. The allantois functions in gas exchange, partly. The chorion does too, but it. Uh, uh, this also has a role in a uh, gas exchange. And also stores waste products. For example, uric acid, which is nitrogenous waste in the case of the bird embryo. Uh, so I'll just say stores um, waste products. So remember that extra embryonic membranes have a little bit different function in different animals. So I'm, I'm focused, you know, here mentioning uric acid, that would apply to a bird, but in general, it stores waste products for, if, for um, an embryo that would need to store it that couldn't eliminate the waste products some other way, such as a mammalian embryo could. Okay, next the chorion. Um, it surrounds the other membranes and it has a function in gas exchange. Again, in mammals, some of these functions are taken over by the umbilical cord and the placenta, but just talking in general about functions, for example, in mammals, the yolk sac um, generally just contains a clear fluid. So this is more focused on what would happen in an, an amniote such as a bird versus a mammal. Okay. That concludes this lesson on development at educator.com. Thanks for visiting.